first met you, you were, you know, young and you came in and made a splash. You played your 700th game tonight out of field. Yeah, pretty crazy, huh? Uh, it's been a, it's been a long journey, uh, especially with the Knights, and uh, I'm happy I got to play uh, 700, my 700th game in Vegas. So. We saw your action on a couple of chances that just wouldn't go in for you, but to make a great pass like that and what ended up being the game-winning goal, how'd that feel? Felt good because, like I said, uh, I had some chances and I couldn't bury, so a bit frustrating. But uh, you know, like Ted Lasso says, just be a goldfish and you know, look forward <laughs> to the next shift. The, the pass was incredible, but can you talk about when you received it? It looked like you you went through the neutral zone and you looked up and <clears throat> sort of pervaded the ice and had patience to go across and waited on it. Did, was that, I mean, can you just take us through when you received the pass first? Yeah, um, I had a lot of ice to skate into. Um, then I had Holtzy on the right side. He kind of, you know, um, he drove the net and kind of opened up that seam too. And I knew um, how he was on my left side. And, um, you know, hoping he was there and he knew who was. So. Place. I know you take a lot of pride in your checking game and being that checking line, but especially against the top team in the NHL. I mean, how proud are you in the job your line was able to do tonight and shutting that top line down for the most part? Uh, yeah, um, I think we did a pretty good job. Um, you got to be aware when you know those top guys are on the ice as well, and uh, you know, you gotta make sure you, you make the right play at the right situations. And you know, if, yeah, it was a good game. We. Uh, if, Felt felt good. I think our whole line did a pretty good job. What was the last? What's the last week been like for you? Obviously, birth of your second child. You're on the East Coast. You fly back to Vegas. Then you go to Colorado. Come back tonight. Just the range of emotions and just are you kind of running on fumes? <clears throat> uh, no. I mean, uh, I think I get recharged, and I think all the all the boys does as well. When we get to spend time with with family, and uh, you know, I got some extra time with family since I went home. So. Um, I don't know. I feel I feel recharged. I've, it's great to be home. So um, and, and be with your kids and, and loved ones. So I, I feel pretty good. Yeah. No yeah. fumes. <laughs> on, on, yeah. <laughs> on, on earlier in the game, you almost, or Brett almost found you on a very similar play that you found him. Was that something you guys kind of <clears throat> talked about on the bench, knowing that it might be there later in the game? Um, was it on the turnover? And he was. I think so, yeah. It was in the first period, and I think it was yeah. Dylan Coughlin made a really good play with his stick. Yeah. Um, no, I think that's just in-the-moment kind of thing. Um, I wouldn't mind if he just tucked it in himself. I got to tell him to shoot because, you know, he gets square. So. <laughs> <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of fumes, a long couple of weeks for you guys, and now you got a few, four games coming up in the next five days or so. Just how are you guys able to – kind of compartmentalize, get that rest, and make sure you, that you are recharged for what this schedule is looking like here? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think the boys have done a tremendous job. Uh, we've, been, uh, we've been playing pretty well. Uh, long road trip, like you said, and coming home for, to a back-to-back. And uh, yeah, I think we look pretty good today. Uh, hopefully we come out the same tomorrow. And then, you know, we have two, two days in between and uh, to really recharge. And, you know, a back-to-back, we're used to it, so. No worries.